Hello! Welcome to Quickfire English and Zero Preparation Activities for ESL Teachers, where we discuss activities that engage students but take no time to prepare. Today, a full lesson to hit multiple language skills with authentic materials, and that we can adapt to different levels. This time, the amazing Zero Prep listening lesson. So called because people often wonder how one can possibly do listening without prepping a listening text. Well, Spoiler alert, it involves the internet. We begin with students grabbing their mobile weapon of choice and heading to ed.ted.com, where they enter by clicking the button on the left. TED Ed is great for zero prep listening because other than a few exceptions, its videos are all roughly the same length, around five minutes, which means we can have different students working on different videos simultaneously, but the task still takes roughly the same time. The videos also cover a huge range of topics, so we can make this lesson match the knowledge and interests of pretty much any student. First, a warm up. Students search the site individually for three videos. Now, they're not going to watch these videos, they're just going to choose topics based on the videos one they know something about, one they know a little about, and one they want to know more about. Then, a milling task. Give everyone time to mill around the room, asking and telling each other about their topics. Afterwards, put students into pairs, send them back to TED Ed, and have them find a video they both want to watch. Now, for this to work, students need headphones, otherwise you'll end up with a cacophony of different videos playing all at once. My students tend to have headphones anyway, but I'll email them a reminder the day before class just to be sure. So, students plug in. They watch the same video as their partner and take notes on 1. What they think are the 3 most important points the video makes, and 2. What they found most interesting. Then, they discuss their answers. Now, what if we want to modify for lower levels? Well, we could let students watch more than once, or we could let them watch once normally and once with the English subtitles. Next, detail. Write the following instructions on the board. With your partner, create 5 true or false listening comprehension questions on your video. Afterwards, you will exchange questions and videos with another pair. And that's what they do. Here students really have to think about their video's content and they'll need to watch it back to discuss which questions to make. And while students work, you help so the questions are up to scratch. Now, the time students need to prepare will depend on their level, so use your own judgement. Once the questions are ready, each pair swaps questions and videos with another pair. Then everyone watches the new video and does the listening comprehension their classmates created. So we're going to need at least 5 minutes watching time. Afterwards, students check their answers with those who wrote the questions. Ok, what if you want to modify for lower levels? Well, you could give students more time, or have them write fewer questions for each other. Or if you think this is just too much for your group, you could skip this task altogether and spend more time on the gist task and the final fluency task. Which comes next. Put students into new pairs so everybody's working with someone they haven't worked with in the lesson thus far. And send everybody back to their original video, the one they did the gist task and wrote comprehension questions for. Now, at this stage, everybody should be familiar with their own video and capable of recounting the main points, but we're going to help them do that with a visual cue, namely the video itself. So on the board we write, show your original video to your new partner with the sound off. While the video is playing, explain its content to your partner. Now, this will probably work better if you give students time to prepare what they're going to say about the video but higher level students might be able to do it on the fly. In any case, once that's done, we've completed a full zero prep listening lesson using authentic materials to match the interests of everyone in the room. Now, if you got something out of this video, please hit the like button, and if you think the content might help someone else, go ahead and share it. And if you want more videos like this, be sure to hit subscribe and the bell for notifications. Okay, we are out. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next video.